What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bulk RTA. All right, guys, so the random question of the day is, if you could be anywhere else in the world right this second, where would you be and why? I think I'm gonna go with Stuttgart, Germany, because there's an expo this coming weekend and I really wish I could make it there, but unfortunately, I'm stuck here in America. I really, really wanna go to more international vape shows, but unfortunately, travel costs are very expensive. But with that, I wanna hear from you guys. Where would you be anywhere in the world? Let me know right down there in the comment section below. All right, so today's video is all about the bulk RTA, this big bastard right here. Here, a creation from Vapen Fagan and Umir. Big shout out and thank you going to Umir for sending this one my way for the purpose of making this video. I think it's really funny that this thing's called the Bulk because it's sitting on top of my Warlocks hammer mod that is nicknamed the Incredible Bulk and I actually named it after a film of the same name. And here's just the movie poster for you guys just to show you what I'm talking about here. A big chunky purple thing and that's what this mod is. So we've got the Bulk on top of the Bulk. So taking a quick look online, this device comes in three different color options. You have silver, black, and gold, and it's only going to run you about 30 bucks. So for all of you big tank fanatics out there, this one's definitely going to be a part of your collection soon, I'm sure. And with that, if you want to grab one for yourself, I'll have a link on my website. Link to that will be right down there in the description below as always. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got the bulk RTA in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging, then we'll talk about what's inside. So first and foremost, love the little display window right here, showing you the build deck as well as the top section. It's got the bulk RTA with a Vape and Fagan logo down here in the corner and a Umir logo right there at the top. And behind it, some words that say easy to build, flavor, huge clouds, blah, 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 all that cool stuff right there. On the top section, we've got a big old Umir logo on the side, we we have our scratch and check on the side here we have the Vapen Fagan logo and a design by Vapen Fagan and on the bottom we have a big old bulk logo so taking a look at the back we've got some components and some company information some warnings and all that good stuff right there so let's go ahead and take a look inside the box whoop just like that we've got an extra glass right here this is the standard straight glass. We've got an extra tip right here. If you don't like the big, huge one that comes stock, there you go. You get a little nice little frosted one. Next thing is the build deck. And as you can see here, mine still has the coils on it. Don't worry, yours will not come with pre-dirtied coils. And finally, we have the actual top section of the tank. We've got the bubble glass on there and the big old drip tip. So let's go ahead and take a look underneath, see what we get for extras. And oh, we get some little cotton strips here, so it's easier to wick with the little aglets. Thank you very much, people in the comments section. I know these are called aglets now. <laughs> there you go. And we've got the obligatory baggy O parts. We've got some coils in there, pretty nice looking, if I do say so myself. Some spare O rings and screws and that kind of good stuff. And of course, the Allen key as well. And last but not least, we have a tiny little user manual. It's booklet style with color graphics and some fairly small print. Honestly, gotta love a booklet style manual. And that's it, that's what's in the box. All right guys, let's talk about the specs. First of all, it's 28 millimeters in diameter. It's made of stainless steel. It has a screw off top fill with knurling. It comes with a three mil and five mil bubble glass option. Four post build deck designed for dual coils, 2.35 millimeter post holes, four millimeter internal airflow holes. It's peak insulation throughout. It has wicking walls and reduced leaking into airflow holes. Triple adjustable bottom airflow control which are 10 millimeter by 1.5 millimeter each. It comes with an 810 drip tip and it has a gold plated 510 connection. All right guys so let's get a good close-up look at the parts of the bulk RTA starting off with the drip tip up top here. This is not quite your standard 810 tip. It's a little bit fatter than most and as you can see through the top here nice wide bore. Just to show you guys the difference here is a standard 810. Hopefully you guys can see the difference there in size. Inside the top lip here we do have a clear o-ring which is going to hold on to your drip tips really nice and tightly. Never had any issues there. We've got an 810 tip right there. No wiggle or wobble or anything like that. On the top cap section here we have a bit of knurling which is good because it's a little bit harder to grip onto because it's so small but otherwise just a couple of turns this thing comes off like so and there you can see the filling ports as well. Very generous in size there. This thing takes no time at all to fill 
all up. So here's the build deck with my build still installed. As you can see, very large coils in here. These are three millimeter, seven wrap fuse Claptons. And yeah, they take up most of the build deck, but this thing is very accepting of these massive builds like this because it's almost got the same size build deck as the original BTFC. So with that, as you can see here, we've got some little walls that come up to block off your wicking from your airflow, which is great because it prevents leaking. And we can see these screws and all that good stuff right there as well. Let's just go ahead and take these coils out so I can show you a little bit more detail. So here you can see the airflow holes that come right up underneath your coils, really direct airflow on those coils. So very efficient cooling to them. You can also see the post holes right there, which are very generous in size. It accepts pretty much anything you guys can build and throw in this thing. And you can see the screws as well. These are some Allen grub screws. Very, very, very good screws, surprisingly. Usually I'm not a huge fan of Chinese screws, but these are actually acceptable. Underneath here, we've got some of the holes that come out the bottom. That is where your leads are gonna go. Your coils are gonna drop in the top section and come out the bottom there. That's where you're gonna clip them. And it ha you have enough kind of wiggle room there to leave a tiny bit of wire sticking out and it's not gonna short on anything. Otherwise, nothing too fancy. Uh, the bottom section here has these little kind of cutouts to it, which kind of assist you with the airflow control. Not as good as knurling in my opinion, but it does help a tiny bit. And on the bottom section here, we've got some engravings. As you can see, it says by Umir and Vapenfagen and bulk right there. Let's just turn this thing around so you can see it. And there you go. So that's pretty much what I've got for you guys in this little close up section. Let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, my first pro is that it's basically the BTFC with a tank around it. And in no way is that a bad thing in my book. I really enjoyed using the BTFC. I thought it was a really great dripper. And to have that familiarity with the build deck with a tank around it, it's just a win-win. My second pro for this one is that it's very easy to build. Like I just mentioned, it's very similar to the BTFC deck. And with that, all you have to do is drop your coils in, tighten them down, lift up on them a little bit and that is basically it. Wicking it is fairly easy as well. I wish they had a better system to trap your wicks with, but other than that, I really don't mind this thing at all. My third pro today is that the airflow feels very smooth and natural, albeit a little bit noisy. And with that, I really like the triple airflow tanks that are out nowadays because they just feel like you're getting plenty of airflow. You're not left wanting anymore. And of course, it's fully adjustable if you want a little bit less. And my fourth and final pro for this device is that it actually has a wide bore chimney and it's necessary for you to use an 810 tip, unlike some of the other tanks out there nowadays that just give you this big old tip with a very narrow chimney section. This one has a big bore for a reason. You can build huge coils on it and you have a ton of airflow. So that is not really cut off very much because of the narrowing of the chimney section. It's wide open and you get a huge clouds out of this thing as long as you build it properly. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons. My first con is that it has limited capacity considering its size. Now, the base of this thing is 28 millimeters in diameter. With the bubble glass, it goes out to about 30, and yet it only holds five mils of e-liquid. I really wish that they would have considered just scaling down the build deck ever so slightly to make room for an extra mil or two of e-liquid as it stands right now. It holds five mils, which is basically par in my book, and I would have really liked to have seen a six or seven mil tank on this thing, especially considering how big it is already. My second con for this one one is that the drip tip it comes shipped with is absolutely massive. I get the feeling that Fagan just really enjoys a big tip. Know what I mean? Personally, I'm not a big fan, but luckily they supply you with an extra one right there in the box. And my third and final con for this one is that it's too darn big for most of my mods. Now, right now it's sitting pretty comfortably on the incredible bulk hammer mod here, but otherwise I'm just stuck with this one mod because everything else that I put it on top of, it just sticks over the edge and looks terrible. Now, I know that's not going to be a problem for some people out there, but I know a lot of you guys with OCD like me just really can't stand overhang.
All right, guys, so at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for review? I'm gonna say yes to this one. I really enjoyed vaping on the BTFC, and this is basically the same thing in tank form. So yeah, it's kind of obvious that I'm gonna enjoy this one as well. For all of you big mod and big tank fans out there, you definitely should get one of these for your collection. It's only 30 bucks, so why not? And if you guys wanna pick one of these up for yourself, I'll have a link on my website. Link to that is right down there in the description. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Leave your comments down in the box below and check the links in the description right down there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always, vape on.